Hello there everyone, my name is Oversoul, this is Oversoul Gaming, and welcome back to Firewatch. Now when we last left our, pro our protagonist, Henry, he said he was off to do some fishing, but the lightless said, Hey, there is a bear in these here woods, I need you to look into it, yeah? And so, look into it we shall. And, uh, where to do we go in order to, you know what, I'm gonna put the fishing pole away. There we are. Okay, we need both hands. Um. Um. Well, there doesn't appear to be a specific area in mind, and I'm just going off best memory here, so... We're gonna go ahead and just keep going forward until the dialogue changes. Eventually, they'll give us a thing. So... La da dee 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 doo dee dee doo ska ba dee bump ba dum bump boop Indeedioso Back at Jonesy Lake where those girls were doing the dipping of skinniness But hark! Over here to the left there's a clipboard Hmm What does it say? What the, uh, D, I found a clipboard down here, and I, uh, there's something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry? I'm worried. Hmm, what could this you strange... You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Hey, look. Let's just let me know, okay, buckaroo? Another walkie-talkie. Oh, God. I found a walkie-talkie out here, too. Uh, okay. It's going shit house. Get it if you haven't already, and then we'll figure out whose it is. Okay. We'll do. <coughs> that part jump scared a lot of people first time they played it. But basically, we just got knocked Henry? the fuck out from behind. There? What happened, Henry? I. Holy hell, I just. I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. Yeah, I'm already over here. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God, sort of. Damn it, my head. Are you... Are you sure you saw what... What you saw, Henry. Maybe you pissed off some more campers, and they came back to sucker punch you. Why would I make this up? It's an insane lie at worst, and a shitty prank at best. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from... Three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with the walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. What do you think is going on behind that fence? Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes, which is unfucking believable Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. All right, I I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. There there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also, 
I'm gonna call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked. Ugh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. Okay, yeah, I should definitely be going the right way here then. Wapiti Meadow is to the north of where we currently are. Okay, yeah, so it's down. I have to go, I have to repel down this shale and then go follow the path up that way. Habity boomba, sha la la. I should have just went through Thunder Canyon because it would have been faster. Oh wait, never mind. That's blocked off. You have to do it this way. <laughs> My bad. All right. And here we are. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but... That's only a few square feet, usually. That's not what this is. Nope. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. Nope, but we can try to break it open. Nope, that's not going to work. Look, I'm not going to be able to get into this place. Oh, shit. I, I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. Good point. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Ruby River is... Okay, so we... Ha oh, that's right, it's this way now. Okay, so we have to go back... All the way back towards our lookout. And... Then south from there, all the way down to the uh, Ruby River. That's a ways away. As you can see, we're right here, just a little bit north of Jonesy Lake. So we have to... The fastest way would probably be... Either to cut through Thunder Canyon to the cave or to that little part right there and climb up and come out on one of the two areas behind Two Forks. Or we could run all the way back through that meadow, climb back up the thing and go, yeah, no. Um, we're going to go through Thunder Canyon and probably take the high road. Alright, it's going to take a while to get there though, so... I'll see you whenever something worthy of showing you occurs. Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Should we call the cops or the forest service and, and let them know this is going on? Um... Don't you think that would sound, you know, crazy? Yeah, it is crazy. We have to tell someone. Tell them what, Henry? Tell them we're being stalked and you were attacked and we don't have any proof? I don't know. Tell them we're being bothered or something. Henry, I really like this job, okay? And if I give off even a hint of cuckoo to my bosses, they are never going to let me come back out here. Do you understand that? All right. I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Hey, w what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not, okay? Let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss.
All right, here we are back at our lookout tower. Now we just need to make our way south over this way. Oop. I I just saw a thing, uh, the June fire. Oh, the June fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Anyways, so I'm going to stick around and talk to you guys for this part since this is all new scenery. We haven't been down this way yet. Um, I didn't have anything to say about their last bit of dialogue, though, because I didn't want to spoil anything. Some stuff, when you already know what happened in this game, is hard to commentate on because it's just... I don't want to give anything away, you know? But we'll go here across these rocks. We could jump, but eh. I'll get my shoes a little wet, who cares? Here's a new supply catch that we haven't been to yet. Same old, same old with the password. And another note. <clears throat> Ron. Really wish the powers that be could issue us radios that didn't suck ass. Most of the time I'd prefer to keep things pen to paper, but every once in a while it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. I've been sitting at the spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter way through this bottle of, uh... Fies? Fifes? I'm not sure what that says. Uh, instead. Miss you, Dave. What did that say? Halfway through a quarter... Fifes! Okay, that's what I thought I said. F-Y-F-E. I'm not familiar with this drink. Anyways, keep the note, and, uh... Hmm. Toilet paper, in case you need to make your poopies while you're out here. But what good is the toilet paper if... It's wet. Oops. Are I not to be a stinker? Okay. Copy down the map information and shkabooba. And forward we will go. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. You mean this pond over here? What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah? Where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. <laughs> uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. It looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across Old Pork Pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, doing all this hiking in the snow, I could imagine. Camp Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. Beware weebelos in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. That's really, uh... That's actually a pretty good quote. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. There is. It's like literally right next to it. I think this... I think we can drop down here. Yeah. 
Knowing that now is helpful, you'd be surprised how long I was looking around for a place to get across before. I was like, oh, this tree over here looks weak, maybe I can push it. But it turns out that we need something for that. Something that we're about to get. You ever talked to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. I mean, he, he wasn't a scout or a weeblow or whatever? <laughs> I got the sense that boy could barely tie his shoes, let alone a clove hitch. What the hell's a clove hitch? Ah, uh, well, it's a knot that you are probably too old and too stubborn to learn. <laughs> you use it to make rafts and shelters and stuff like that. Huh. You know how to tie one? Heck no. I'd make a Weeblow do it. <laughs> See? Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the Weeblows. For the past 35 years, yeah. Except that they all look like broke down and shit. It looks like anybody hasn't, like nobody's used this in a while, honestly. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Hmm. Huh. Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Us. They're researching us. You... you think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. True enough. True enough. Things are definitely starting to get weird. Why would people want to research them? Why are these two some kind of science experiment, you know? Come on. Put some oomph into it. There you go. Oh, I forgot to say timber. I'm sorry. Yeah, but... Ah, da 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 doop. Alright. Now that we have the axe, we can we have to go all the way back to Wapiti Meadow. Are you there? I I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. Um. Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Well, what about when I heard you talking to someone else? I just left your line open. That's not what this is. Get in your tower, shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Dun dun dun. Things are getting very mysterious. Yes. So, somebody was listening to them. Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. 
The June fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Uh, why are you so chipper? I didn't sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sunup. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day, this day we've been given. Maybe I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is... I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Sure. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. It's, it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that... Maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Are you? Could you be any more obvious, though? Seriously. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe I should go for a hike. Cottonwood. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there. So we need to go to Cottonwood on the map. Which is, uh, blah, 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 blah. oh, Cottonwood Creek. That's the way that we went yesterday. It's uh, except that we're going the opposite direction this time. We're not going towards the scout camp. We're going, you know. So we get across the river again, and then this time we are going to go right instead of left when we get there. Scubbingaloo to dee doo. All right, we just came from crossing the river, and like I said, we're going to go to the right this time, not towards the camp where we got the axe, but rather to a new area that we haven't been to yet. Look at that tree right there. That tree's got no leaves, none whatsoever. But you know what? This actually makes for a good picture. Almost forgot about the camera. Something kind of... Beautif uh, beautifully haunting about it. <clears throat> and we get an update on the map with this. Somebody's just loose ski here. Clearly people come out here in the winter and they just leave their shit. Here's the beautiful Ruby River. God, wow, look at all that. Wow, this is just, this is another good one right here. Look at, look at that, that's just... The time of day at which this part of the game takes place definitely helps with that. Anyways, I'm here at the good old wooden of Cot. Cottonwood. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Yep. Uh, it must be around here somewhere. It's right here. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. Not much of a change. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we'll copy the map information down. And then, oh, a new radio. Uh, I found what you left me. Good. Call me back with when you have it. Hint, hint. I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. <laughs> I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. Whatever these people are doing is illegal, right? Are you okay? I don't know, Henry. 
People have been listening to us all summer. How is this actually happening? I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm scared. None of it makes any sense. Who is doing this? I don't know who could be doing this. <sighs> Henry, I've been at this job off and on for 13 years. Sometimes here, sometimes over near Jackson, a couple times down in Wind River. And nothing like this has ever happened before. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? Uh, this is just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Our fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. So no, this isn't happening to anyone else, and I'm done asking. Look, I'm headed back to the gate, and now that I've got an axe, we'll know something soon. You need to get into that site. Call me when you find something. Will do, boss lady, will do. And, ah, crap, I went too far. And on that same note, I will return with you guys once I have found something as well. As in, once we get to where things are to be found. You know what, I'm just gonna crossfade now. Hey, uh, I just thought of something not, um... Not great. What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. Oh, shit. My thoughts exactly. Our radios were tapped. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And... I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Fuck, Delilah. Fuck, indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. Uh, I just heard something. What is it? I, I don't know. It was goddamn terrifying, though. Well, it could be an elk, or it could be someone trying to get you to radio about a loud noise so they know where you are. Ah, oh, fuck. How about you don't do that again? It was an elk, by the way. <laughs> I mean, if that wasn't blatantly obvious. Alright, here we are back at the fence, and now that we have an axe, we're going to chop our way through this lock and see what the hell's going on. I'm busting the gate down. There's nobody around, and it's the quickest way in. Copy that. <clears throat> and we got it. I smashed open the gate. Should I try to fix or hide this? No, screw it. Okay, then. <laughs> If I think if we open this, we'll get stung by a bee and get a trophy. Oh! Ow! Yep, there it is. I got stung by a bee. Okay. Is is that it? Yeah. Did it did it hurt? Yes, kind of. O okay, I'm I'm sorry. Wapiti Station personnel, if you are trying to reach Dr. Simmons, he is on site from August 15th to October 15th. University-owned equipment is the responsibility of Dr. Johnson. Government-owned equipment is under the purview of Cat Ferdinand. Remember, this is a controlled area, and any issues, malfunctions, or violations should be reported immediately. I'll just hold on to that. No one will ever know. <laughs> Oof. The sun's going down. It's starting to get dark. What a perfect time with all of the mystery going on. I feel like I gotta turn my light on even though it doesn't help much at all. Scoobly boobly boobly. Almost there. Okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. 
Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. The there is some serious comms equipment out here, wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20-foot tall transmission tower. I mean, they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. And there is all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? Dishes and stuff on metal legs. There are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. Now let's see what's in here. I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's definitely some sort of monitoring station. <sighs> I just I wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. And they know you're there, so see what you can find and get out. This place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. So they live and work in the same tent? Yeah, it's all one operation. <laughs> like us. Yeah, like us. The desk in here is a mess. I mean, it's, it's like someone was in a rush or knocked a bunch of stuff over on accident. Okay. Shit. Got another clipboard here that confirms that they're tracking our movements. The log they've got tracks the movement of four subjects. You and me? Uh, yeah, definitely me. And I suppose you too. What about the other two? Maybe the Goodwins? What if they were following them last summer? God, Henry, I don't know. If they were, there's no way Brian knew. He would have said something. Yeah, I can't imagine a kid like that could have kept this under his hat. We'll talk this over and figure out how to get the hell out of here. They've got a map with all sorts of paths and areas marked out on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? Uh, some of their descriptions seem like uncharitable ways of describing me, yeah. <laughs> hey, this yeah. desk seems to be where all the monitoring is recorded. Just dials and computers and sorts of doodads. Holy shit, you don't think they're able to record our heart rate and stuff, do you? Seriously, at this stage, I'd believe just about anything. Really makes you wonder what's actually going on out here and whether or not our protagonists are just being paranoid or actually have reason to worry. I think I found the thing they used to track us. Holy shit! You know, you swear, like, a lot. <laughs> not the time, Hank. Yeah, Delilah, anyway, we're gonna get demonetized. Wave receiver. Looks like it picks up anything that emits a signal. It's got basic orienteering capabilities, everything. Holy... Holy shit, Henry. Yeah, holy shit. You're gonna take it, right? Yeah, of course. Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. Wh what's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. What is this? Subjects Henry M. and Delilah A. Oh, well, the plot thickens. Are you shitting me? What? What is it? There's a folder of reports here. What do they say? They're assessments about the two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, did, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! Henry, do you hear me? It says that you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah. Okay. They are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. Ooh. That's a bit much. Think about it. Delilah. What? Think about it. I am, and I think it's insane. They'd be fucked. Yeah, and how about if that fire comes up the mountain, or someone were to die in it? We call it in? We call it in? Yeah, maybe. My god, Delilah, no. No way. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Ah, so fucking wound up! 
It's all right. I'm just going to hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. And so head back to Two Forks Lookout Tower we shall. For what else is there to do now? And it is nighttime anyways. Best to get some sleep and deal with the rest of this in the morrow. After all, what else could possibly occur before the night's over? Things are already strange enough as it is. But it definitely makes you wonder, doesn't it? Yes. Uh-oh. Whoa! Woo! Well, I guess we won't Shit. be using that to get across anymore. Uh-oh. That's uh, where we just were. Henry? I think there is smoke coming from north of Jonesy Lake. That is suspiciously close to where you just were. Do you it's see It's exactly it? where we were. Jesus, okay, yeah, I see it. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? I, I don't know. I have no idea what to do. We have a fire burning in the woods. The one thing I know how to respond to, and all of this shit has me wondering what the hell to do. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. Holy crap. So somebody followed Henry there, and then after Henry left, they decided to set the tent on fire. But why? Do they have a personal agenda against these people themselves? Or are they trying to frame Henry for something? Jesus, he's got like a... One of those things that, uh... You know, like when people are like investigating something themselves and they have that pin-up board with all the things that are connected and all that. Anyways. This receiver just picked something up. It's like a signal. It's going beep beep. Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. Alright, I'm on my way now. Whatever it is, it's to the southwest. You know what I just picked up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno Tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? No! I am getting drunk! Hey, D, I don't want to harsh your vibe, but maybe, just maybe, that's a bad idea. Henry, Henry, Henry. What? You're harshing my vibe. My, oh my thinking God. is I could stay up all night worried I'm going to lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm going to follow this wave receiver. Ooh, I like it when you think. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. She's definitely drunk. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. And we turned our radio off. Because she got on our nerves. Something here. In these gaps in the bushes. Oh. A strange backpack. Shit! Uh oh. What? Ah! Alright, where'd, where'd the bag go? Where'd the bag go? Oh. <laughs> Whoever left this bag here, they had an alarm set on it. <laughs> oh, it's a key to that door in the cave! How about that? D, I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, and basics, but it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's there's also a set of keys here. I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. 
Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire has them spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you. Uh-oh. It, it's not you. I'm going. Yeah, I'm like literally right here, so. This is the second time that someone's broken into my goddamn tower. The first time it was those teenage girls, very clearly. But this time, she said it was a man. I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. Uh oh. Left a cassette player taped to my damn door. Uh, I don't even know what to say to that. Well, let's see what's on it. Perhaps a threat? Out of context. It's a tape of us talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Perhaps from who was following oh, us that burned it. I. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down, and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No. D, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my God! What the fuck is happening, Henry? That's a damn good question. So your little bender isn't looking like such a good idea under the light of a new day, huh? No. It isn't, but that's not it. Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um... So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. Us? What's this us? You're the boss. I was just... What? Following orders? Look, you know I didn't start this fire, so you just tell them the truth, right? That's all you can do. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I know. So, here we are. Here's the current situation, then. We know that someone has been intercepting our calls. We know that someone has been following us. We know that someone set that fire in that tent and, frame, and is trying to frame us for it. We know that that fire has now gotten out of control so bad that we actually need to evacuate the forest via helicopter. Um, and we're waiting on them to come pick us up now. We also know that there's a reason that that cave, that door in that cave was locked, and there's something in there that someone doesn't want us to see. So, all of these questions and more will be answered, possibly, in the next episode, which I'm hoping will actually be the last. So anyways, let me know what your thoughts are so far. Have any theories or any assumptions? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave it a like. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. And I will catch you possibly on another day, definitely at another time, and likely in another video. Okay, goodbye.